Hi and welcome back. Let me ask you something. Do you think legendary road trips can happen without a few hiccups? Personally, I don't think so. And I'm pretty sure my parents could agree after spending last week driving with us through Patagonia. As always, as a, with a rental car, um, it breaks. is very quickly and before you know it you're doing exactly what you planned months ago On the last week with my parents, it was all about enjoying some of the most iconic locations in the Patagonia. Seeing the Fitzroy has been a dream for many years, and it doesn't matter how many pictures you have seen. This part of the Andes is out of this world. By now, we have learned to appreciate travel that runs smoothly. As we know, challenges are always around the corner. What's happening? As always, as a, with a rental car, um, it breaks. In Zambia broke, in here as well. I mean, it was already like kind of broken when they gave it to us. And now Kai is trying to make a fix on a Saturday because uh, we don't have a shop until Monday. And what exactly is broken? The connection from the water tank to the whole water system in the car, so we cannot get any water inside the pan. Let's have a chill day today. Disaster! More shower holes! Oh. Oh, no! No, that's okay. No, no, no. something hit us like someone was throwing some big rock or uh, yeah a rocket uh, the russians so what <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and that was going to be a house
El Chate is a pretty young town, established in 1985. Since then, the town's growth has been fueled by tourism, driven mostly by the desire of getting close to the iconic Fitzroy and Ferro Torre. Nearby, Lago del Desierto marks the border with Chile, once a focal point of the tension between both countries. Now a peaceful spot for those seeking close-up view of the imposing glaciers in the area. enjoying the sailing a lot, but it got even better when the whole group of tourists left for a hike and we had the boat for ourselves. I cannot recommend this place enough. The views, the calmness, the easy access, 10 out of 10.
11 kilómetros desde 400 metros a One can see the Fitzroy from many spots around El Chalten, but there's nothing like seeing it up close along this hike. This is Laguna de los Tres, which is completely covered in snow. And this is Laguna Sucia, which is partly frozen, but only partly. And of course the Fitzroy. Leaving El Chalten, but first we need to put diesel. This is the small station. It doesn't look like, but it's a petrol station. And everybody's waiting because I think everybody's going towards the Calafat and there's nothing until there. Mike is also putting the oh, petrol at this moment. Go in the same direction. Parando, comes, descansas, eh, repostas y ya está. The weather was absolutely beautiful. And on the way to El Calafate, we still could see the Fitzroy from far. Mom started to smell like diesel, and I was like, "What? What?" And look at that. That's completely open. Yeah, it's a loose end. Hmm.
car is sprayed with diesel from below. We will need to clean the car at one point because it has a layer now. Yeah. Diesel. Yes, Orlando needs a break. It has taken us to unbelievable places. But traveling like we do is more often than not taking a toll on the vehicles. Including the spring. And just now, as we come to camp, really, they don't want us to go to Puerto Moreno. This is amazing. The views are really, really good. This is Lago Roca. My parents have witnessed how we react when things go sideways and have asked us as well, how come are you so calm? The answer is not straightforward but it has to do with acknowledging and being in peace with the yin and yang. Knowing that challenges eventually will appear, but this will inevitably yield to opportunities. And as soon as we realize this, we will be able to move forward faster towards those beautiful moments. That over there is the Perito Moreno Glacier. And that's where we're going right now. Let's go! Y el tiempo es maravilloso. Buena temperatura, no hace viento. 
y, un, y el escenario es fantástico. Viva Argentina. Que aquí es más bumpy. Yo llego cuidado y después de aquí. Pues ahora tenemos que ir donde? A parar. A parar. A parar. Cobro de acceso. Aquí. parking lot is so much money combined in highly capable 4x4s and so on and all the cars are spotless clean so what are those people doing with those cars don't understand it The Perito Moreno Glacier, famous for its dynamic nature and occasional calving, which by the way I tried to capture, but always was too late. Since 2020 the glacier is retrieving and there are things that we cannot see anymore, like that dam or that path should be here and it's not the main activity here is to walk around the platforms and sit down in front of this massive ice spectacle It sure is extraordinary. grateful for how everything turned out. Despite the several setbacks, we made it together all the way here. We're going to sleep here tonight, next to the lake, Glacier Lake. Tonight is the last night with my friends uh, before they drive up again to Bariloche to return the van and we actually drive south towards Ushuaia. I have to say, this van was such a beast. Like, we took it, the roads, no problem, we were going faster than a lot of overlanders, like with 4x4s. It's performing really, really good. The mechanic of the Sprinter is amazing. The only thing that is oh, not okay is the interior, which is not prepared for yeah, repeal, like a lot of vibrations and so on. But the car itself, it drives really, really, really good. And and even though it's seven meters, it's going really good. Like you can drive it nearly like a car. Really great choice. 
and of course with the weather we have had with the wind it was a luxury to be the five of us inside the van having breakfast every day and dinner so it was really really great now we are packing everything inside the Defender and we'll be three again driving towards the south.